Hey y'all, this is a reply to um, Proverbs 9.10 channel, and in his Rightly Dividing the Word of Truth, <clears throat> he mentioned how um, so one of the verses is, is kind of truncated in the newer translations, and he talks about King James a bit, and I wanted to jump in there and give you, who are interested, three scholarly books on the King James that I think um, are the absolute best that I've found. <clears throat> I have um, studied this for about 30 years and I've read probably about every book on it and heard most of the major lectures and apologetics both for and against. Um, when I went to seminary actually for my um, in my master's program, not the PhD program, but the master's one, <clears throat> they used uh, James White, the King James controversy, um, to argue against the, the King James. Um, when I wrote on it, I wrote why his arguments were weak, <laughs> and uh, I got an A on the paper. <laughs> uh, that was a long time ago. Anyway, <clears throat> um, here are, I want to show you the books and why I like them. Um, First of all, this book, The King James Defended by Edward Hills, is really good. He is a Harvard scholar, and he gives you a history um, of it, and he studies um, the textual criticism. Uh, and he, he gives a really, really good history and really good explaining. Um, all through and so if you want something that is not parroted um, there there's unfortunately just a lot of parroting in some of the defense books they say what everybody else has said and um, anyway so this is this covers the same material but in depth and in a really scholarly way is a great one if you have a friend that that is interested in reading about this that is maybe not um, King James Preferred or King James, you know, uh, this is a good one. Here is the back of this book and the Isbin. <clears throat> this is another one that I think is amazing. And For most verses, lots of verses, it goes through and compares them. It tells you what these manuscripts, these are all different manuscript types, and it explains it in the beginning of the book, which is which, and it tells you how all these support the King James reading and what ones support the newer readings. And so you'll find a lot, for instance, that, so for instance, this reading in Matthew 23, 14, we have all these manuscripts that support that reading. The Old Latin, the Cursus, the Aramaic, um, many, many. And we have a handful that support nothing, like no reading. They, they took it out. Um, so this is a really, really good one to have. And then the last one I want to share with you is one by David Sorensen called Neither the Oldest or the Best. And he lays out a really, really interesting argument. <clears throat> the newer ones are based um, on the Vaticanus and the Sinaiticus, and his his argument and it seems the proof is that the Sinaiticus was actually um, it, it was indeed um, stolen and found in the trash and it was because a monk of an orthodox monastery was working on copying and calligraphy uh, scripture to give the emperor and these were marked up by his 
well, let's say mentors um, as to like what to recopy, what to make in gold or what to, you know, um, editing marks. Um, and anyway, so, so um, Tindorf actually took those and he said he was going to borrow them and he never gave them back. And uh, new technology shows that they were actually they were altered. And even I think it was Hort of Westcott and Hort, who um, the, a lot of the modern translations are based on their work, said that the Sinaiticus was suspect as to its age. Um, it is said to have be fourth century, and it looks like it was actually um, written by this <coughs> this monk. Um, in 1839-1840, so very new, um, and, and they were never meant to be crossed out. As a matter of fact, the Orthodox uh, monasteries use the same text type as the King James. This. So um, this goes into it and really talks about this in sort of a way like you'd hear in a courtroom, laying the evidence toward it. So neither the oldest nor the best by David H. Sorensen. There's the ISBN. So um, I hope that this is helpful and interesting in your journey. And uh, take care, my brothers and sisters. God be with you. Amen, brothers. Amen, sisters. Savor your Savior. Please like and subscribe.